Welcome to Top Rope Television. I'm your host, Craig Stagner. December 11th, this past Saturday, heroes still exist at CrossFit Republic, Republic, Missouri. This show was every bit as exciting as we thought it would be, maybe even more so. Not only did we have six exciting matches, including a tag team event and the ICWF Heavyweight Championship on the line, we had a preliminary match and special guests from the ECW and WWE former Tough Enough head trainer, Al Snow. First off, get things started, the Buns of Steel, Jay Fowler with a return to the ICWF, taking on the big man, Tanner Keeler. This event... Heel hook by Buns of Steel, but driven into the corner post. A big belly to belly suplex by Tanner Keeler. One, two, three, the pinfall. Tanner Keeler with the big win over Jay Fowler. Next up, Gary J taking on this mysterious man, Herzog.
Herzog goes into the corner, rolled up by Gary J. Goes for the pin, only a two count. But Herzog comes back with a mighty slam. Is he going to have enough energy to cover? He does. Three count, the victory. Herzog pins Gary J. Next up, Billy Tipton takes on Christian Rose. One full 20 for Jeff Edinger. Christian Rose goes for the kick. Oh, a big miss by Billy Tipton. A little showboating by Christian Rose. Takes the big boot. Oh, vicious right hand by Rose. Oh, no. What's he going to do? Oh, big slam into the middle turnbuckle. Oh, a vicious kick to the face. Three count Christian Rose with a pinfall over Billy Tipton. Next up, two of the biggest men in the ICWF, AJ Kazana takes on Camaro Jackson. Kazana putting the boots to Camaro Jackson, going up top. Oh, big elbow by Camaro Jackson, the fireman carry. Vicious slam by Camaro Jackson, the cover. And a three count. The pinfall victory for Camaro Jackson over A.J. Kazana. In one of the most highly anticipated matches of the night, the tag team of Big Joe Helms and the Merc taking on Derek James and Cade Fye. But wait, 
Derek James was a no-show. He sent a message earlier in the day that he would not be there. Was he making excuses? Well, according to Big Joe Helms and Merck, he was. But nonetheless, Tommy Dean filled in for Derek James. Here's what happened. Big Joe's calling for Tommy Dean to come back into the ring. The Merck sends him in. This can't be good for Tommy Dean. A second attempt at the big slam by Helms. This time it works. Joe Helms goes in for the cover. And that's a win for the tag team of Big Joe Helms and the Merck. After the big pinfall by Joe Helms, the Merc grabbed the mic, and this is what he had to say. You know what would have made me even more stoked if Derek James had been here like he was supposed to be? But Derek James did what Derek James does, and he ran. He runs. He runs so far away, he runs all night and day. He ran away from the battle royal that Joe Helms had won only to sneak back in at the last minute and steal an elimination. He had Kenny Fight help him run away from Joe Helms when they had a one-on-one -on -one encounter not two months ago. And tonight he ran from the consequences of his actions by choosing not to show up. Where's he at? Where you at, Joe? Squashing like a bug. Derrick James isn't going to be able to run anymore because it's awful hard to run from someone when you're tied together at the neck with a steel dog collar. <laughs> Joe, I'd let you, I'd let you get your revenge if your dance card wasn't full with the title match on February 19th. But I would be more than happy to beat Derrick James like a whip dog all around this building on February 19th. There you have it. Big Joe Helms gets his shot at a heavyweight title. And the Merc will take on Derek James in a dog collar match February 19th. In our main event, Mighty Micah gets his shot at the ICWF Heavyweight Championship, taking on your champion, Brawler Morrison. The definition of hoss fight, the defending ICWF heavyweight champion, the fight guy, Brawler Morrison. Oh, the boss is 
ladies and gentlemen, at 14 minutes 55 seconds, the referee has disqualified Brawler Morrison. Here is your winner, Mighty Minka. ICWF General Manager Terry Zeller has seen enough and enters the ring to confront the controversial champion Brawler Morrison. special guest Al Snow from the ECW and the WWE and former head trainer at Tough Enough. Al Snow was kind enough to sit down with me after the matches for this interview. Fans, I'm Craig Stagner with the ICWF Independent Circuit Wrestling Federation here on Top Rope Television on YouTube and social media. This was a very special night that we had here. Uh, the heroes still exist, and that was a pretty good indication as to uh, who our special guest was going to be. Uh, this man is a wrestling legend, but uh, is no stranger to, as he so modestly put it, being at the right place at the right time. But uh, wrestling legend, Mr. Al Snow. Al, thank you for being here with us. What did you think of the show tonight? Oh, I enjoyed it very much. Um, a lot of great young talent. And, uh, you know, like I tried to encourage the audience at the top of the show to, you know, spread the word and, and build support for these young athletes because, you know, it's, it's, uh, I'm sure it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when one or two of them will probably be the next uh, WWE superstar or AEW star, you know. Um, that they'll be watching on a national television show so they can say hey i i knew them when right you know now how many years did you professionally wrestle all told uh this may 22nd will be 40 years 
40 years so you were 1982 90 uh, 82 when you yeah, started wrestling 82 yeah may 22nd of 1982 was my first match mm -hmm. and uh, i've been lucky enough and blessed enough to do what i love to do for the last almost 40 years i'm curious that now in some aspects with social media you can promote yourself yeah. Do you think that the young wrestlers now have it easier, harder, or is it just different than when you were coming up? Uh, I think there are there are clear, defined differences. Um, they've not reinvented the wheel. They like to all believe that they have, but they haven't. Um, and so in some manner, some things are the same, but in other ways, it's a lot better um, there's a lot more opportunity and there's a lot more money to be made and um, they do have social media. They can make themselves uh, into an attraction um, as opposed to like in the old days, we were totally 100% reliant on getting on some kind of television mm -hmm. to really sell the product, which is ourselves. And, um, and now they've got, if they're smart and they're creative, um, which I'm sure they all are, uh, they have a social media that they could they could use to really build themselves into who knows what. It's really a fortunate thing now with the social media. I mean, the it, the rise of the social media influencer and that kind of thing is uh, that you can get on and make something of yourself. But where it's tough is so is everybody else has that same opportunity. So you really have to do something yeah. to stand out. Well, that's true in any vocation. Is that you know you. If it's a vocation worth doing, then there's going to be competition to do it. Right. I'm curious, and I don't know if you've told this story. I'm sure you have. Where did Head oh. come from? Well, we met in New Britain, Connecticut. Our oh, eyes okay. locked, and we knew it was true love. We've been together ever since, and, you know, it's just been a fantastic relationship. So it's almost a 40-year relationship. Well, no, not for Head and I, no. I okay. mean, the, the career was, but Head and I got together in the 90s, I think, so... Wow, okay. I was a little more mature at that point, you know what I mean? Okay. <laughs> well, I was ready for a relationship at that point that I, I wouldn't have been if I, we'd have met earlier. So Great. Is there any of the – now, you get around great, and, and I say that as a compliment because this is a tough sport. I see guys that are 20 years old that are limping here. Is it tough? Is it? Do you still train quite a bit to stay? I do. I train uh, quite – intensely and I do quite frequently um, the hardest part for me nowadays as I get older is the recovery which um, you know uh, I'll go a good three or four days and then I'll hit that one day where I gotta like not only is it like I gotta take a day off but like I'm like exhausted like it's not like it used to be but then if I get the one day off then I can go back and go back right back to it again. I think it was said once in a song, I'm not as good as I once was, but I'm still good once as I ever was. That's right, yeah. And that's all I need is just once. <laughs> that's, that's all I really need, yeah. Is is there any of the uh, – when you were coming up through there, was anybody that was like your particular mentor, maybe not, it, not directly, but somebody you really admired that you were like, that's who my – Well, there were a lot of guys that I admired and tried to emulate to some degree or another, um, uh, take aspects of, um, but, you know, uh, there was, Jim Cornette was a great mentor to, you know, and uh, um, you know, a couple other noteworthy people were as well, um, you know, but the, 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 the real, real ex teacher uh, is experienced because it's the best, but it's also the worst because you gotta screw up to get it, you know? You kind of mess up the lesson to get the lesson, and uh, you know, so um, that just I was able to mess up a lot and still keep going. Life is kind of like working out when you're working out, you're breaking down that muscle to make it stronger, sure. And you almost need those mistakes to get stronger, absolutely. You know, that's the most amazing. I, you know, as I've gotten older, I really realize, you know, that's the most amazing thing about uh, being a human being, quite honestly, is and this would be sound very philosophical, but. If you apply that thought process that, you know, it, you place your body under stress or duress when you train so that your body grows back and adapts. But that, do, that applies to everything and every aspect of your life. When you are placed under stress and duress, you'll adapt, you'll change, you'll develop, you'll grow, and you'll be able to now something that 
10 years before would have maybe broke you now you, you can handle with ease because you've went through other challenges you know that's a great point from a from a really from someone who isn't just saying it but has lived it um is there a do you have a social media uh, page or link or something that people our fans could follow you on yeah facebook uh twitter instagram even tiktok um i'm the real al snow because there were some fakes and listen you can be an imposter um it doesn't bother me it actually <laughs> flatters me sure. quite a bit i just i'm going to send you a message and go hey why don't you aim the bar higher i mean if you're going to fake being a celebrity be like Brett, Brad Pitt or George Clooney or well, something. Well, nobody's trying to pretend we're, they're either one of us. They right. want to be you. But I don't know if they want to be me. They just, <laughs> they're like, hey, we can get in under the radar on this guy. We'll just slide in there yeah. and people will think that we're him. So Go the ahead, but, you know, I don't think you're going to get over that much. So the real Al Snow on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, mm -hmm. Twitter. Yeah, uh, Al Snow on Facebook, but the real Al Snow on Facebook, or I mean on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok. I'm, uh, I'm uh, the real Al Snow. So. A huge thank you to our sponsors, Just for Parrots, Number One Taco, Triumph Tattoo and Shred Company, l, l Vision, ProFab Motorsports, and ORP TV. Don't forget, February 19th, CrossFit Republic, Republic, Missouri. Tickets go on sale February 1st. Two title matches plus a dog collar match. You do not want to miss this. For Top Rope Television and ICWF, I'm your host, Craig Stagner.